theorists throughout history have spent a lot of time trying to explain human behavior as they relate to needs. And I'm here today to talk about one of my favorite theorists and his hierarchy of human needs. That'd be Abraham Maslow. Maslow introduced the hierarchy of human needs in 1954 and it became his primary contribution to psychology. Now, this hierarchy is normally drawn as a pyramid. In addition to normally being depicted as a pyramid, Maslow separated this hierarchy into five sections. When I say five, you say tier five. Tier five. Tier. Now the trick with Maslow's hierarchy of needs is that it's set up in five tiers. And as you progress through, that means you've accomplished the tiers below. But as you progress up the pyramid, if, for any reason, one of the lower needs that you had already accomplished is no longer being met, that means you have to fall down below again and start over. The first tier of Maslow's hierarchy of human needs is the physiological needs. These are your base needs, like eating, drinking, sleeping, the needs that will keep your body alive. Because if you don't satisfy this tier, you'll be dead. You will never reach the others. The second tier of the pyramid are feelings of security, or the safety need. And this is just a basic feeling of security, or to be safe. And this could be in your physical environment, such as not in a dangerous position, or feelings of security with your family and friends and your social status, and in today's society, even your financial or employment status. The third tier is a feeling of love and belonging, and this is your interpersonal relationships, and to have successful interpersonal relationships. These could be friends and family, or even the security of having somebody love you for who you are. The fourth tier of this pyramid is esteem. People have a need to be confident in themselves and to have a high self-esteem. The final tier to this pyramid is self-actualization. This is when a person begins to understand their full potential. This can be through morality, creativity, or just an acceptance of facts. Since Maslow introduced his hierarchy of human needs, other theorists have criticized his theory, including just the order in which he placed the needs. But regardless of if you agree or disagree with his hierarchy, I don't think there's one person out there who could say that our behaviors are not reflected by which needs we are seeking to fulfill.